Tonight we're getting a clearer picture of the border wall plans in Star County. Good evening, I'm Chris Jacobs. And I'm Nicole Heckel. We know 25 miles of land in Hidalgo County could potentially be turned into a border wall. People in the area have been receiving letters for weeks about government officials scouting their land to determine where construction will begin. Now Star County is being added to that equation. CBS 4 Sydney Hernandez joins us with more Sydney. Right now, we know that there have been over 240 right of entry requests throughout Hidalgo and here in Stark County. I'm standing on the Rio Grande City CISD property when you can see their bus barn is right here. And just feet away from that bus barn is a very big area, just miles and miles of brush, large trees, and a lot of other area that's just feet away from the buses. Now, this is an area that is frequented by staff and students. Now, the district has agreed to let the federal government check out their property to see if a border wall would be needed in their area. Border Patrol say they do plan to conduct real estate, environmental and other different tests to determine whether this area and others would withstand the border wall infrastructure. The time frame is around 18 months, which means for over a year and a half, many residents who live along the border may have agents and government officials on their property. Congressman Henrik Guayar Tell CBS4, CBP is planning for 25 miles of border fencing in Hidalgo County and another eight miles in Star County. A portion of those eight miles are in Roma and another one's here in the Fort Ringgold area, where many of the district offices are held and behind the Academy for Academic Enhancement Elementary, those will be surveyed. Because the wall will ca cost about $21 million per mile of border fence, Congressman Cuellar says there are better ways to stop undocumented documented immigrants from illegally entering our borders. This wall is just a 14th century uh, solution to the 21st century issue, and it's a promise that the uh, president has, has been making, that just a uh, campaign promise that has just been so, um, uh, so costly uh, and so inefficient, uh, ineffective in securing the border. They're full, full of baloney, in other words, that they're going to take it like that. And I know that uh, the wall is not going to prevent uh, people in need of uh, to come this way or whatever. whatever. If they're in need, they're going to cross it under or over or whatever. At least 200 people have been asked by the federal government to grant access to their property for the border wall infrastructure. And right now we're going to head over to CBS 4's Abril Preciado as we continue our team coverage on the border, where today is the deadline for little immigrant children who have been separated from their families to be reunited.